There she is. Look how beautiful. Hey guys, those of you that watched our live the other night already know, but Chipper had a baby. And I'm super excited to show you that little baby. But before we do that, we wanna show you, Blake is a prankster. And before he left on his mission, he, he pulled a doozy. And uh, we're excited to show it to you, guarantee to make you laugh. And uh, anyway, let's go check it out. And then watch to the end of the video and I'll show you Chipper's new baby. Hey farm friends, it's Alan here on the farm. It's a beautiful evening. We've been getting irrigation. So all the neighborhood kids are over here playing kickball in the water. We've got some friends coming to the farm and they're gonna pick up. Sorry, I'm trying to get away from the kids so it gets quieter. Have you ever done that? Have you ever tried to get away from kids so it gets quieter and they seem to keep getting louder and closer? <laughs> I think they're debating if it was really a goal or not. I don't think they're playing kickball. I think they're playing soccer. Blake is a practical jokester. He loves to do pranks and they're good, wholesome pranks and they're fun. But there's a young couple in town that has a bunch of kids and they are as bad as Blake at doing pranks. Well, they happen to be related. Sorry, I just got stepped in the sun the sun's about to go down but anyway so now I'm, I'm hiding behind the shadow of a tree but anyway they happen to be related to one of Blake's really good friends so Blake and his friend Owen who's actually a cousin anyway so Blake and Owen and a bunch of Blake's friends kind of got in this pranking war with the fish family well, the fishes don't go down easy. So every time there would be a prank, the fishes would come back and get them back. And so it's been really fun through the years. They've done a lot of crazy fun stuff. One of the best pranks before the one we'll tell you about today was when the fish family was out of town and in a small town and with Owen being, Owen's our cousin on the Palmer side and he is related to the fishes through his mom's side. Anyway, so he knew they were out of town on a trip to Europe. And so Blake and Owen and all the, the buddies, this was about probably four or five months ago, they snuck into their house and, oh, but first they took apart the big trampoline. They snuck into the house they went into the house and reset up the big trampoline in the living room and they were on the the trampoline in the living room eating popcorn and watching a movie the night that the fishes got home from Europe well they laughed and thought it was hilarious the kids begged mom and dad to leave it up and Desiree is <laughs> a good mom she's like okay you guys can sleep on it and each of you gets to have some friends over this week. And then once they played on it in the living room for a week, they, they had them take it down. That's pretty, pretty impressive parenting there. So that was pretty fun prank. Well, TC and Desiree got them back. And on prom night in our small little town, we're not at some fancy hotel or anything. We were at the neighbor's house. That was a beautiful yard and house and they, all the couples had parked their vehicles and gone into the dance. Well, TC and Desiree ended up talking to all the parents and getting keys to each of the vehicles. And so when the kids got out from the dance that night, their vehicles were gone and there was a tricycle or a scooter or a, what else, bicycle in its place. So, so all these couples in their nice, uh, they don't wear tuxes anymore, but their nice suits, ties, and, and the girls in these nice dresses had to 
get home on a tricycle or a bike or a scooter. Anyway, it was pretty funny. Spend the whole night coming looking for, you for their truck. Going down. I wasn't gonna help them, but now I am. Well, those are just two of the uh, pranks that have happened through the years. Well, Blake, about a month ago, someone came to our house on a Sunday afternoon and they said, hey, we hear that you sometimes take animals and buy animals, <laughs> anyway. I come in to the house on a Sunday afternoon. Vicky was eating dinner. We were all eating di dinner, but I excused myself when the door rang. I went to the front porch and I talked to this family and I came back in and Vicky's like, who is that? And I was like, I just bought a pot belly pig. Get over here, Vicky. Vicky just, oh, she's like, <laughs> you look great. She's been day. playing in the irrigation day. and with the and grandkids. Looks like I've been playing in the You water look all day. beautiful. So, hey, everybody. I just tell them about all the pranks that Blake and the fishes have played back and forth. Yeah, but did you tell them the one big problem with all these pranks now? Not yet. We'll get there. It's it's a problem. <laughs> and I'm worried. <laughs> so, and I'm and, laughing, but I really am worried. So, a month ago, when I went to the door on a Sunday afternoon, I came back in, I said, Vicky, I just bought a pot belly pig. And Vicky's <laughs> like, you have got to be kidding. I'm like, no, I really did. I'm, I'm he a thought he was joking. I'm a sucker for helping, helping families that needed some help and they needed a little money and they couldn't take care of their pig. And then they had this sad story. They're like, we're afraid if we keep it, the dogs will get into the cage. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we've got to help the pig. Well, we haven't introduced you to the little pig because Blake, when Vicky was like, you're kidding, you bought a pig. <laughs> was like, oh, I got the perfect plan. And we're not gonna tell you what happened until the fishes get here in a few minutes to get a pot belly pig <laughs> for some reason. Anyway, so, but why are you afraid? Because. You, you said it's a problem. Yeah, because the fishes now said that we're part of this pranking. So you're just so, worried so because I'm we're worried part of it. Because now they say we're part of the pranking and they're gonna get our whole family. And it was nothing to do with me. Oh. Zilch. <laughs> Vicky no, acts I like. No, I had nothing oh, to do Vicky with Oh, Vicky was <laughs> all over this idea. She was like, this is yeah, hilarious. Yeah, only to get rid of the pig. <laughs> get rid of? We loved the little pig. No, I did not want a pot belly pig. <laughs> I did not want a pot belly pig. <laughs> so that, guys, so. you're going to hear the story about the pot belly pig and the fish family. And it may be Blake's best prank to date. And he's gone for two years, which was brilliant. Well, look who's here. The fish family is here. Are you guys here to get your pig? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Can't wait to hear the story of how you guys got this pig. I don't even know how it Oh, you don't know how you got it? I don't know. You don't know how it's Alright. Can you guys catch it? Yep. Grab it. back. <laughs> you can grab his back feet. <laughs> now, now, what did Blake tell you its name is? Pistol. Pistol. That's right. Grab his back legs. And, and what do you got to do with Pistol? What, what are you, aren't you supposed to make sure he doesn't sleep alone at night? <laughs> He's squealing. Oh, Case, Case caught him. All right, now pick him up. <laughs> Come on, Pistol, you know you love these guys. <laughs> oh, hey, will you, will you kiss him better? If you kiss him, it'll make him feel better. Oh, that was his job, huh? All right. <laughs> Well, Blake, you did a good job. <laughs> hey, Pistol, it's okay. Hey, it's okay. You gotta give him a kiss, Carly. No! <laughs> <laughs> so now he's all ready to go. 
<laughs> okay, so guys, this is the fish family, the famous pranksters. I've already told them a little bit about your history with Blake. But uh, but I haven't told them about this prank. So you guys want to tell them what happened? Thursday night, <laughs> we get a phone call. And Rayleigh's like, Mom, there is a pig on our doorstep. So she starts FaceTiming us. And we're just laughing. Rayleigh opened the door this much. She was she was really scared. So she opens it you this were much. You are afraid of a little pig? Yes. She, <laughs> took, she opens the door. She's like, hey, Siri, call Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a wonderful note from Elder Palmer. It says, TC and Desiree family, please take good care of this little piggy while I'm gone. His name is Pistol. He was born March 23rd, 2023. He's very particular about his needs and likes. So I've made some assignments for each of you. I need pictures of the chores being done. <laughs> Blake, I'm skipping our chore list. Oh, we've got to hear some of them. <laughs> no. Come on, I think they'll get a kick there out of you this. Go, hon. You, there's our All right, chore Case, list. how about you come read this for the chore lists? I'm um, PC and Desiree, sing him songs at night, give him kisses, buy him snacks. TC, he <laughs> likes to travel, so take him to work. Brush his teeth, build a pin. Take him on family trips. Don't let Simi have him. <laughs> Most important, love him. We're he, giving him the Simi for sure. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> an apple. <laughs> All right, who's next? So, so, so has your dad fulfilled his first step to build him a, a pin already? No. So who's, how room is he sleeping in tonight then? Berkeley's. Berkeley's, okay. Which is mom and dad's room. Okay, here we go. So keep going. What, who else has some? Rayleigh. All right, Rayleigh. What's your job? I have to, um, he said he is probably not potty trained. When inside he needs a diaper, Berkeley should fit him. Change fast after accident to prevent rash. <laughs> you know so much about kids already, Blake. <laughs> Case, he needs a bath two times a week. Only use kids' shampoo so his eyes don't burn. <laughs> that, so that's your job? Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Reese, he needs his hair brushed and styled every day. He prefers a mohawk. <laughs> Carly, he needs exercise. Take him for walks around the town. Be sure to have a, him on a leash. <laughs> so you're going to take him for walks? Oh, oh she this can't be... wait. She's like 100% in this. That's her favorite uh, part Dad of it. Back rubs on days of walks. You have to give him back rubs on the days he gets walks? Berkeley. Awesome. Berkeley. He cannot sleep alone. Always. Also, he enjoys sharing binkies. <laughs> Are you gonna share your binky with Who's the pig? That for? Who's that for? Is that for the pig? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you guys are good sports, but now I Blake better watch out in two years, right? Oh yeah. No, it might not even I'm take two years. I'm pretty sure we have some friends in his mission in California. Oh really? Uh, oh yeah. Oh. I'm look at his boundaries a little bit better. <laughs> uh, his mission boundaries. Oh, that so is hilarious. As long as you just we're exempt. Alan and exactly. Vicky have now joined the, <laughs> the game. We and are so exempt. We're, we're, really excited. <laughs> we're excited to continue this. So, Blake, you're uh, doing your We answer. brought a diaper. Really, yeah. really wants to get Blake her. wanted oh, some God. pictures, right? So, yeah. so wait, who's putting on the diaper? Rayleigh! All right, Rayleigh. You got to show Blake how this is done. Leave him right there in that cage. It's perfect. You can't go anywhere. You just slip <laughs> right on him down. Or Case could hold him up because yeah, that Case hold him up. <laughs> I like that. Oh. <laughs> Case did such a good job catching him. Uh, he squealed really oh, bad really before. Wow. Just him up. We're, we're hoping he learns to like these guys better. Is he grunting? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like Alan when he gets out of bed. <laughs> hey Blake, they're doing a good job. Rayleigh's doing exactly what you ask. <laughs> oh, good job. Now remember, to, if it has an accident, you got to change him often so he doesn't get a rash. 
Okay, good job. Wow. Great job. Where's that beaky in his mouth? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, where's the beaky? All right. Bur bur <laughs> oh, good. That. Look, it's. Look. Oh, how sweet is that? Guys, look at that. With the beaky, he's uh, he's right, ready for bed. So who's who's taking him to bed? We can oh. finally sleep at night. Okay, can you guys sing him out? <laughs> oh, oh, who's gonna rub his back? Oh, how sweet is that? I have to take him for a walk, but I don't have a leash. Oh, I guess you're just gonna have to let him run. <laughs> oh, did his? Oh, the binky fell out. Oh, oh, the, oh, look. <laughs> Every time the <laughs> hey, when the binky goes in his mouth, he, he, he it's okay, it's okay. Here, here. Oh, oh, you got this. Good job, pistol. You got this. These guys love you. Wait, who's gonna give him a mohawk? Reese, you gotta style his hair for him. <laughs> oh man, you're gonna have to get some gel. <laughs> So, are you guys gonna actually keep the pig? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Is that gonna it's be fun? To yeah. Oh, it's coming to Blake's wedding. Hey. Well, Blake's not supposed to watch YouTube for two years, but they just said we hope your wife likes pigs. So watch out at your wedding. It's a new. It's a new car decoration for the bride and groom. Oh, <laughs> All right, Inside guys, the all the fishes, you guys might say like and subscribe. Yeah, One, like and subscribe. two, three. Like and subscribe. 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 Good night, guys. Good night. Nice. I've got the pinky. Hey, well, Case felt bad. He didn't get to do his job. And so I he's like, I'm going to give it the bath that Blake asked me to give it. And look at there's water everywhere from irrigation. So, Case. You're gonna give it a bath. Did you even bring some of the little kids yeah. shampoo? Oh, yeah. Look at that. You guys are prepared just like Blake asked you. Yeah, where did that binky go? <laughs> I have it. I have it. Yeah, you might I'm need the binky. Sure so you're just gonna give it a bath in the puddle. Oh, no, no. That'll be perfect. He's gonna love it after a hot day. That's my job. Sir. It's been a record high, I think, about 105 for, for, for us. That is super hot. Dude, who has the soap? Oh, okay. All right. Go ahead and put it right there in the water. There you go. You think he likes water? No. Well, pigs normally it's like cold. water. It's really cold. What do you think? Man, you guys are good at this. Oh. <laughs> he about got loose. <laughs> you got the <laughs> Look at that. He's settled down. He's clean. This is awesome. And he has a loving family to take him home. <laughs> you have done awesome, Keith. I'm sure before you put it in Blake's car on his wedding night, you're going to give him a bath, right? We're going to make sure that he's not showered. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see his wife to be say, what are we gonna do with that pig? You <laughs> could just say the same thing we said. <laughs> Wasn't that hilarious? One other prank that I forgot about was on high school graduation night, TC 
invited all those senior boys who had set up the trampoline in his living room to the stage because he was the keynote speaker. And uh, we got a little footage of that too. Check this out. Here's that good looking, this is a good looking crew right here. Um, all right, uh, at the end of our, they stayed until past midnight at my house. I was hoping their moms would call and say, yeah, I had time to come home. I was tired, jet lag. But they told me something interesting. They said, TC, we got dance skills that make girls go crazy. <laughs> so I thought we had a good audience. I see lots of young ladies out there, so that's got a good audience. Um, and I picked a very popular song for this time of year, too. And, and it's, everybody out there knows that they're going to help you. So Tyler, if you could go ahead and cue that up for us. And hey, I expect big things. Help him out, crowd, all right? <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? Anyway, good, clean, fun, and uh, plenty of it. Well, let's go check out this little baby horse now. She's beautiful. She's a daughter of, so I just, if I didn't already mention that, it's a little girl, little filly, and she's a daughter of 66, gold 66, sorry, gold 66. So it's his first offspring. And this will be Chipper's last. Some people have asked why, well, you get differing opinions. Some people can't believe we bred her till she was 21 years old. And others are like, why stop now? So, but we're gonna stop. We don't want her to, she scared us two weeks ago when she colicked. But this is a super cute baby. Check this out. There she is. Look how beautiful. Little Sorrel Philly. And uh, she's gonna have all kinds of muscle. She's got that cute head. One of her front legs was a little crooked, but when they've been shoved into their mama for 11 months, sometimes it takes a few weeks to straighten things out. And she's moving all the time better. It's already straightening up. So I think we're gonna be good to go. That is a common thing with these babies. They, they come out and have to straighten out for a few weeks. But she's already got tons of muscle and just super cute. And on the live we asked for name ideas and had hundreds of them come in, but we haven't settled on one. So feel free to give us your name options so remember dad is gold 66 and mom is chipper here and this is a registered quarter horse so super excited to have this new little baby here on the farm